may not find my first one. We'll find that one. Not even going to bother looking for my first ball, so I'm taking three off the tee. Start off badly. Continue badly. It's okay. A little long on the green, but it's still on the green. All right, let's two putt this for a triple. No, just seven. Not fun. All right, welcome back to Geo Golf. Oh, now we got a second tee. And, uh, uh, wasn't holding anybody up in the first tee, but I didn't want to do any talking there. Playing Sun Mill Creek today, playing on. 18 birds just shows up as silver, but I'm playing the blue markers. Same yardages, so it don't matter. Uh, started up with a lost a ball in the first hole. I, well, I might have found it if I decided to look for it, but I didn't want to, so took a took a second ball off the tee, end up with a seven. Could have been worse. Easily could have been worse, but that's okay. Ah, go to 160 or 100. I'm going to take a six iron, so I don't know the exact yardage because I don't have a scorebook or a scorecard. I just got 18 birdies, but I don't want to turn on right now because I don't want to do two things at once. But I can't. At least I don't want to make it seem like I'm doing too much at once. But hopefully you will see why I think I can be a scratch golfer. First hole is not really indicative of that, but that's my issues. I keep screwing up when I shouldn't be, but I'm pretty sure you'll see a few holes, several holes where it's like, yeah, that guy should be a lot better than he is. I am getting lessons. I have another, actually, Saturday, I got an appointment to see, uh, see my coach. But yeah, I'm getting there. Just wait. Just for reference of why some of my shots aren't that great, I'm not using irons. I really should be at this time, but I don't like the look of most caddy backs and the offset and the thick line. I do plan on getting some better irons this winter. So unless I can get, unless I can be told I will be able to play these next year, my swing is good enough to play. Or if I should go to game improve, or not really game improvement irons, but the distance player irons like the P770s or similar. I might look at the Cali's because they're a lot cheaper and Scottish.
was a good hit. On the front of the green, I shrug that off the center. I don't swing as hard as I know I should be, so I, I could go further. But I'll take straight over distance most of the time. something you shouldn't do to hit a putt fat but it worked out well and to be honest I had no idea how it was gonna break so I just tried to hit it my issue. That's another reason why I need lessons. Figure what I'm doing around there. Normally I just pitch that out onto the fairway, but it's actually like the grass is like laying over and it's actually on top. So I'm gonna wait till the greenskeeper is done with the uh, green and then go for, go for the pin. Well, not the pin, the green somewhere. I'm not sure how far I am, but it's at least 160. So probably a seven iron just to make sure I get there. I actually hit it in the center, but it uh, came out, I was aiming a little, a little further left than I should have. And a little short, but I mean, greenside bunker is a good spot. 
You'll see a minute why as I use the quotes. This is why I use the air quotes. This is what most of the bunkers here look like for now. It was closed since COVID. It was the first year open, so not all bunkers are good. They decide to not pay a whole lot of attention to bunkers, which I'm, I'm okay with. Pay attention to the fairway and the rough. Make it look better. Some spots of fairway are pretty bad, but that's okay. For $25 a round, I'm not going to complain about that. I've seen, I've paid higher price to play just as shitty of course itself. So I'm okay with them charging less. Now the local rule is to pull it out. Normally I play it in there, but this is actually the first time I actually feel I got uh, screwed over by it. Because if it was regular sand, it wouldn't have rolled all the way there. It would have been soft and fluffed and stopped it. It started in back here. But I'm too traditional, so I'm going to try and get it out from there. Got emphasis on try. That second chip wasn't that great, but it's much, much better than I usually do. That's where I'm definitely saving some strokes. Some, maybe like two, three around. But I'm losing them to putting. some odd yards so I'm just using a five wood to put it in play a good strike will get me up pat by the 100 bad strike will leave me short of that or somewhere else so try to put a good one on That one's in between a good and a bad one. It's off the center. It wasn't the greatest power and greatest swing, but it's down the center of the fairway, well, left center of the fairway, so I'll take that. Those two shots right there, those are why I don't see why I can't be scratch or close to it, at least a five handicap or below. I don't know why I can't shoot par sometimes. Like, I was 120, roughly 120, with a slight breeze, so I decided to grab my 9 iron, my tailor-made Rack MB 9 iron, put a three-quarter punch shot on it. I was actually aiming towards the center, but I pushed it a little bit. 
However, it was also on a slight side hill, so that might have helped it go to that this direction as well. But I'll take this. Got to not do that though. Now, this would be interesting. 136 downwind, so 9 iron. I don't know if I can control a 3 quarter 9 iron downwind. So I think I'm just going to try to have to swing a hard pitching wedge. Line you up with the flag. Let me get a line. Oh, I hit that pretty good and pretty hard. Just, just over the the edge of the green. I'm on the green. I'm pretty sure. Scratch that. Uh, I'm a lot closer than just on the green. I was about to leave that birdie putt short again. Now this is the type of par five where if I was playing with other people, I would actually take a driver, go over the water, and try to put it near the green because it's not very far to carry. It's like a 260 yard to carry. Maybe a little less. So, but because it's just me, I'm not gonna waste time. I do that and try to find it. So I'm just gonna play it like well. So I'm going to go for the green in two, provided I hit a nice shot in the fairway right now.
like that. Okay, if I can hit shots like that, then I should be able to play blades, because although to be fair, that was off the tee. All right, so according to 18 birdies, that one went 225. That was off the tee. And maybe one and a half, two yards downhill, I guess, below the level of tee up the tee deck. It also shows I got 213 to the middle of the green, so I'm gonna go with another three iron. See what happens. Didn't catch it perfect, so it went a little to the right, a little short. Went into the first front bunker and came up, and then it what looks like lodged in the rough around there. So let's go see this shisho. I think I said shisho. Meant shit show. Now I found my ball right on the edge there. Probably can't see it from now, but I'll show you the picture I took with the phone. Very lovely. I'd actually rather be in the bunker, even though it's a shitty bunker. That's a highlight reel worthy. Almost. Two rounds in with this putter cover, and look, it's not good. Even for being fairly cheap, it's not good. I've seen other ones that are supposedly higher quality for the same price. Maybe we'll get that. Or an actual putter cover. Alright, so I was able to get another par there, so I'm able to stay at six over after six holes. That's not what scratch golfers do. Well, to be fair, what they do is they maintain the pars, but they don't start off many over. They know how to scramble.
take that one every day of the week. Except Master Sunday. Okay, so the 18 birdies app gave me, that uh, was 262 drive, but I know that was into the wind, so that was at least a 270 to 280 because it's at least 12 kilometer an hour headwind. Uh, so we're definitely going to cut back, plus I'm not, I'm using a Titleist 905T. Old school technology, so <laughs> I know new tech will give me at least 20 yards further, because that one was nutted, as they say. Uh, New driver coming up, maybe next month. Cobra, but uh, I got 121 into the green. And again, try to muscle a pitching wedge. Should probably try to knock down a nine, but right now the breeze has died. But then as you can see, say that, you see the flag start twitching. Son of a gun. Yeah. I'm gonna use a little nine. Sort of my arm and sounds. Switching to a nine iron. I'm actually on the green, back left. But I imagine when you're trying to choke down or hit a longer iron shorter, I'd rather come up long knowing it is a longer iron rather than coming up short knowing you hit a longer iron shorter. It didn't sound fun. Again, I was actually almost just about pin high, like a yard and a half short of being perfectly level with the pin, which I don't care. I'm not, I'm not good enough to care that much. However, I do care that I'm, I don't know what the hell you call that, a hole in the ground? Like I'm definitely moving that to the side. If I get relief from a sprinkler head, I'd better get relief from a hole on the green. But I don't want any closer, so I'm just going to move it to the left. And if you didn't notice, it was slightly behind. Just to be a little better. Another reason why I'm not scratch yet. All right, final part five of the front nine. I have not decided. Right now, I'm feeling like I'm gonna just stop recording after nine holes because I don't really feel. I don't know. I want to focus more on my game and rather than filming. <laughs> It's a different beast, as some of you know. But, uh, yeah, part five, I'm gonna, this is not reachable in two. I mean, unless it was extremely downwind or it had new technology, because an extra 20 or 30 yards off the tee would definitely help. Then it would make it reachable. Because 230 as opposed to 260 is, is a bit of a difference.
But I will take down the center of the fairway again. Alright, so... Ooh. All right, so 18 birdies clocked that in at 280 on the dot. That was a slight last hole. I was in the winds as it was crosswind, so that's not bad. It actually went very straight into that crosswind in 280. Slightly harder fairway than most other ones, but I mean, 280 is still what I know a good drive for me is with this old technology. So I would love to see what the new Cobra has in store for me. Either the rad speed or that LDT, whatever. Maybe the only one I can see right now in stock with a stiff shaft is the Volition version, but I'm okay with that. My grandfather's American, so I'm okay with red, white, and blue clubs. I prefer red and white for Canada, but I'll take what I can get. Two twenty-three, two thirty-three to the hole, roughly. So, five wood. I'm not expecting to hit it this good at all. Let's try to. I did hit it pretty good. Just not great, but pretty good. I'll take that. I'm near the green. We'll take being here in two. Pretty good, happy. I'm pretty happy with that one. Normally, I would just wrap, not randomly, but uh, automatically grab my sand wedge from here. But I'm gonna try my pitching wedge. If that went in, I would have probably screamed like a little girl. Now there's decent chance at a birdie. I'm probably gonna miss it though. Try not to. Yay! Lots of attempts. First one to fall. All right, so ninth hole at Sawmill Creek here in Kamwaki. It's 180 yards into the breeze. Well, into a weird cross breeze, so I'm gonna try to use a five iron. See what happens. I'm, I'm guessing short. That's my call. Now just left. Hitting the second one just in case I don't find that one. I'm sure I will, but you never know.
the bunker, that's why. Well, I got lucky. I thought it was short in the, uh, the fescue, but it's actually long. Just about pin high. So I'm gonna try to fly it somewhere on the green. That's the goal. Come on. No reason for a three-putt there, except stupidity.